What's going on, Garage Gang? Matt from Garage MC here. Guys, been a little busy. Been a little busy, but if you guys are paying attention to some of the last videos, you might be able to see it in the background. I picked up that 85 ATC 350X. It's not a 350X anymore. Well, I mean, essentially it is, but it doesn't have a 350X engine in it. Let's check it out. All right, so here we are, guys. Um, I had plans of I wanted to do something of this nature so this is an 85 350x chassis and it has an 05 and up trx 400ex engine in it um looks like it was done somewhat okay until you start digging into it man um somebody really hacked the frame up back by the carburetor and all that stuff so in this video uh, i don't know if i'm gonna build on this thing guys i really don't i got all these other projects that I haven't finished yet. We didn't even finish our 350 action. I haven't touched it since before Preston's event, uh, this old trikes event, uh, on the beginning, in the beginning of August, beginning of last month. So it's had 9 million other things going on. Jesse's 426 build is almost done. Um, it's, it's damn close. Finally, I can't wait to get that thing out of my garage. Um, and I'm sure Jesse's excited to get it. So, and I'll be happy for him to have it finally. Anyway, so this bike guys we're gonna call this little series here trash or treasure you guys let me know what you guys think so i don't really want to tell anybody what i paid for this yet uh well, i'll tell you what i, I paid under two thousand dollars for it okay just under two grand so you guys let me know how we did on this i think i'm going to part this one out uh instead of creating another issue and i'm going to tell you why here in a minute so just keeping under two grand in your head, all right? We got OEM rear fenders, which are completely just cracked, and they're basically, you know, they're they're be good for somebody that's just going to ride with them. We got a decent seat. We got a Clark tank that's all yellowed. That's what happens to the white Clark tanks. I don't know if you guys can see that with the with the sun. There you go. So it looks like somebody somebody painted it, as you can see, and then somebody scraped off the paint. Um, I've seen them painted before. They, they come out good. Uh, if you do it right with like um, adhesion promoter and prep it properly and everything like that. Uh, we have, it looks like an aftermarket rear brake caliper, which the rear brake caliper is identical to a 400EX rear brake caliper. The only difference is the bracket that it bolts to. So those are interchangeable, but this is a Chinese knockoff caliper. You can tell by this block off plate with no um, markings or anything. Uh, and just the way that it is, you know, how, how thin it is. Um, we got an 85 axle. We got the OEM carrier. It looks like somebody was adjusting it with uh, a beaver, possibly. OEM rear shock. It's got all the rubbers that go to everything. Um, I know some of you guys that are probably don't know what some of the prices are on some of these three-wheeler stuff are going. Who gives a shit, man? It's got rubbers on it. Um, well, they're hard to get. Uh, some of them are being remade. Like uh, these rubbers that hold the fenders up. You can get those from Mike Pomgren. Um, we got, I don't know what, who manufactured this. Uh, I'd have to ask my buddy Craig Burton over at ATD, ATC. Um, this might be one of his pieces, but it is bent. OEM axle, OEM rear hubs. We have 400X OEM bald slicks and 400X wheels. OEM 85, 350X front wheel, front hub. OEM 85 forks, um, 85 brake rotor, front caliper's worth a few bucks, uh, the hub, I think I said that already, the axle's actually worth a few dollars. We've got what looks to be a new Meyer front fender. Um, somebody mounted the 400X ignition up here. Um, this actually has value right here, OEM key, OEM ignition for the 05 and up 400X. That actually has a couple dollars to it. We've got old answer bars, the Mark Barnett style. Uh, people are actually looking for those. I have quite a few sets of them, though. I just never listed them for sale. Um, <clears throat> OEM thumb throttle. I'll probably keep that because I always need those. Um, let's see here. And the 05 and up 400X engine. The frame, on the other hand, the engine, I actually need that for something. That's already, that's already spoken for. Um... So we got, with the rear seat, we have all the seat brackets, <clears throat> rubbers, and everything. This section right here is already sold. That'll be uh, 350 bucks. That's already gone. Somebody's picking it up tomorrow. So we're already, we're down to around 
$1,400 cost on this bike so far. Uh, we said the shock. I don't know what the hell somebody was thinking with this rear master cylinder. It looks like a, maybe a CR250 style. Um, if that's an OEM rear master, that might have a little bit of value. I don't see the Nissan logo anywhere. Um, it's probably behind this uh, well-fabricated custom plate here, or plates, I should say. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't just get a strip of metal and cut one piece, but there it is. Um, brake pedals, they go for like 80 bucks. Um, all the linkage for the rear brake setup, the linkage for the rear shock usually gets sold with the shock. We've got one motor mount here from the old 350X setup. One of the bolts. It has an OEM 400X carburetor. That's a few bucks right there. Um, like I said, the engine, I'm going to be using that for something. So now you're probably going, all right, Matt, well, you talked about maybe $1,000 worth of parts, you know, so far 1200 somewhere around there. Um, this deal didn't just come with just that rolling bike right there. So I got the other stuff here on the table. I'll be trying to sneak a peek at Jesse's quad. You either, Jesse. I know you're watching, trying to catch a sneak peek. You'll see it when you pick it up, buddy. Anyway, it came with all this stuff, too. So we have a full stainless steel Curtis Sparks exhaust in pretty decent shape, just dirty. We have an OEM 350X front skid plate. Rubbers are still on it. It's a little dinged up, but most of them are. Um, 400X battery tray and everything, starting solenoid. Uh, the fuse set up all that. That's, you know, 400X stuff is a easy seller. Uh, Everstar battery, that'll just go on the shelf. We have a full 05 and up 400X harness with the CDI and all the accoutrement. Ignition coil, um, headlight sockets for the wire harness. Came with a full 400X airbox setup, which I wish I would have had this about, I don't know, a week or so ago. Uh, a mint 400X oil cooler. Um, there's an OEM 400X cam in here in very nice shape. Extra rocker cover, that'll just go in the scrap pile because it's Chinese, that's junk. Um, decent oil cooler for 400X and the upper motor mount with the spacers for a 400X. These are actually, if you wanted to go buy this from like Rocky Mountain or Partzilla, it's over 60 bucks just for this. Just for this bolt, two spacers and a nut for an OEM one. Um, what else we got here? That's everything that came with the trike. This is just going to be a quick video, guys. Um, I'm actually going to strip this bike down right now. Um, I don't know if that frame is going to have any value to somebody. Uh, the way, uh, matter of fact, let me show you how they hack this thing up. So, this was all hacked out. And yeah, you could put another gusset back in there, which I would if I was going to do something with this chassis. And I'm not saying I'm not going to do anything with it. Just at this point in time, it doesn't make sense for me to start buying stuff for this when we still have other projects that aren't done yet. Um, but I bought it because I needed that engine right away. Uh, the engine has a brand new top end on it. Not sure if it's a 416, 426, or 440. Not sure yet. It's got a new OEM head, and there's a Stage 2 hot cam in there. Hence the reason the OEM cam is in the box over there. So, um, I'll be pulling this out. That is already sold and leaving tomorrow. In the morning, uh, actually the guy that bought my spare 350X engine is picking that up. Um, and then this roller will just get put in the shed. And uh, I don't know, we'll determine what we're going to do with it later on. Um, I will list the parts that are, you know, viable and could be sold for decent money and worth my time to take off the bike and actually deal with somebody. I know some of you guys are like, oh, that's not a big deal if you're going to sell something. Yeah, when you want to go sell something, man, you got to deal with 50 people all lowballing the shit out of you like you know it's for sale it's not on sale you know uh, and i list stuff cheaper than most of the other stuff on the market because i just don't want to sit on it I just don't want to sit on it but anyway let me know what you guys think man like i said quick video today um haven't really had time to film much of anything else lately between building jesse's bike and work um but we're starting to slow down work wise so i'll be back in the garage all winter doing my thing and um still be trying to keep a video coming out every week to you guys this is just uh you know what we had come in yesterday so i'm gonna get down to stripping that you guys jump down in the comment section man let me know what you think under two grand for all that stuff that sparks exhaust is 750 dollars brand new on ebay right now you know 750 brand new so what's it worth used 400 bucks about half 
I'd say so. If you pay taxes and stuff on eBay, you're about 800 bucks. So yeah, I think half is more than fair. More than fair. And it's going to clean up pretty good too, which I will before I sell it. Um, you always want to clean up stuff before you sell it. You maximize your amount that you can get for it from somebody. Anyway, thank you guys for checking out this quick video. And I'll see you in the garage next time. We're finally going to go take the Big Red for a ride and find out what's wrong with it. And probably fix it in that video too. Stay tuned. See you then. Peace! Hey, you guys are still here watching. So, check this out, man. Um, if you're still here watching, drop a comment and let me know what you think about this idea. I'm just sitting here looking at stuff and I'm like, you know, if I was going to build something like this, this is what I would like to do. So, we just talked about how the frame was all messed up and somebody botched it up, right? So, check out what I'm thinking here. That is an OEM 400EX seat on that bike, okay? It lines up pretty damn good with the tank and everything. It's even in the rubbers in the rear. So, check and follow along with me here. And, you know, if you don't understand, that's fine. It's all good. But, so look, we got motor mount here. We got a motor mount here. And we got a motor mount up there, right? But... I mean, we got one back here, too, but that doesn't even get used on the stock 400X frame. This lower bolt hole right here, that doesn't get used. Nothing going through the pivot, like the pivot bolt section of the engine. That I don't like. So, pay attention to what I'm saying here. Here's a 400X frame, right? Let's say we cut this frame off here on both sides, and then we come up here and we pretty much just keep this tube, which will, A give me a place for the pivot bolt to go through with a 400x swing arm and the shock mount and then we have our subframe mounts as well all right so cut here so just this back section and like up to up to here cut off on both sides it'll probably get cut down more but we'll have our foot peg mounts that's all one part right and then we come over to the trike and let me get this seat off of here this nos 400x seat yes you can still get those when they pop up so take cut this frame here on both sides right there and there and then we cut it off get rid of the the foot peg mounts so we got to this point on the frame so that so we're cutting off the whole back section like that right now we put the pivot bolt through the back half of the 400x frame with the swing arm and everything this way all the alignments already done 400x shock all that the stock air box from a 400x ex would actually fit still too with the subframe and we graft that together so it would be 400x like the whole back half would be 400x and being that we could leave those other motor mounts there and put the pivot bolt in with the swing arm and everything all our alignment is done all we got to do is get get it sitting where it's supposed to as far as you know in relation to that I guess we could leave this front motor mount bolt on the other frame still. This way we could like figure out where it wants to sit that way. But I don't think it would be that big of a deal. So if you guys are still here, drop a comment, man. It's a pretty ambitious plan, but I look at it this way. I have 15 400X frames and they're just sitting on pallets. Like, I mean, I could cut up 10 of them and it wouldn't hurt me. Um, and that frame is already botched up and shot. You know what I mean? Somebody already... I wouldn't build it just because of that. So, um, if we did do that, I would do it really... It, it would be sick. We'll keep the Clark tank. You know what I mean? I'll probably get one that's like all red or something like that. Um, we'll do inverts on the front with billet triple trees, like with the CR um, inverted fork tubes. And, you know, just something like that. So, let me know what you guys think about that, man. I think it's a sick idea, and I think it would work out pretty good. I'll see you guys in the garage next time, riding the 250 ES Big Red, and I'll talk to you then. Peace! Again.